I was knocked down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah. I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground just like I was real hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is annabelle to those who are new to this channel and to those who've always been there welcome back i really appreciate the support i really appreciate the love thank you very much for tuning in today's video today's video is going to be a fashion video i'm going to show you guys a collection of my coats winter coats and it's something that i've bought like uh, for the past year or the past winter and because of lockdown, we can't be ordering new stuff. Otherwise, I'll be showing you a new collection of winter coats. But we are home. We have to keep it low. We have to keep the budget because, you know, everything is closed and we're not going anywhere. So this is a collection of the coats that I've already have. And I'll be telling you on this video the prices, the quality, the texture and where I bought them. And you'll actually know where I usually buy my coats because most of you guys are always asking, where did you buy it? Where did you get it? And yeah, this is the video for you if you are into fashion videos. But before we get into the video, like always, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I'm posting something. Let's not waste time. Let's start. This is the first jacket that I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to start with the cheapest going to the most expensive so this is the most cheapest number that I have in my wardrobe. I bought it from H&M last fall and it was only 34 euros. It's a false fair pink in color, very light and yeah the color is Actually, I was looking for something red. The reason why I bought this jacket, it's because I'll show you, I'll show you so that you can actually see the differences in texture and prices. Let's start here. This is both a folks fair and you guys have to guess which one is the most expensive. So it's almost like same texture, but the prices are totally different. Like they're really different. So I'm going to um, try this pink one and you can see how it fits and which type of shoes that I'm going to take. I'll show you guys everything right now. And yeah. puffer jacket i bought it at only i think it yeah i bought it at only and it was 50 euros i bought it in shop we were in um we were on holiday here in germany and yeah i didn't have a jacket and i just got a chance to just buy one and i saw this puffer jacket i really like it because it's very light and it's good against the rain like the quality is very good like the quality quality is very good it's against the rain the only problem is that it's too short on my back and when it's really really cold it's not really covering everything you know some of the things will be outside and getting all the wind but i i really like it i like the fact that it's light and it's, it, it fits well when you're wearing a high waist or anything like that and the price was fair i guess it was 50 euros and the color and the orange zipper is actually my favorite part oh it's not focusing no okay 
yeah my camera wasn't focusing so i was saying the zipper the the golden zipper and actually the bent orange color is my favorite part it's so good in fall so you can actually wear it in fall and also you can wear it in winter it it fits both sides this is why i really like it so let's uh, try it and you guys comment down below and let me know which one is Zara number. I bought this one at Zara. This is my to-go jacket. I wear it uh, at work. I wear it actually every day because like I say it's against the rain as well. It's a puffer jacket but with a different um, yeah, with a different tune. It's it's totally different. I, I love it because you can actually wear it on both sides. You can wear, actually wear it on the black side. I'll show you guys when I'm trying it. And you can also wear it on the maroon side. And yeah, for it was I think 83 euros from Zara. And it's really warm. It's very warm. The only disadvantage about this jacket is that the arms are a bit yeah shorter i would have loved them to be a little bit longer it's still working when you're wearing gloves but um it's also not too bad but i would have loved them to be a little bit longer that was going to be better but the fact that i can wear it in two ways i can wear it from inside out and outside in both sides if that makes sense is what makes it so charming for me i really love this jacket guys and i bought it this winter at Zara, I bought it, I think, I think I bought it in December, if not November. I bought it this winter and it's it's my to-go jacket. I really love it. So we're just going to try it and see how it looks like on the body. my next number this was also from H&M and it's a long teddy bear coat in brown I bought it um, 2019 when we we're traveling to Ireland this is when I bought this jacket because I had heard that Ireland is very very cold and it was very cold and this is the warmest jacket I've ever had the only disadvantage is that when it's raining or snowing, you know, you can't, it, it, it doesn't really protect you from the snow or the rain. But when it's dry weather, cold weather, it's the best thing that ever happened to my wardrobe. The color and the design and the fact that it's long and the fact that it's warm and it's also very light. It's heavy. You, it, It's light. I'm sorry. It's light. It's not heavy um, as you see it. But when you're looking at it, you think, oh, this jacket is very heavy. But it's not even heavy. It's uh, a very light and very long. You'll see it when I try it. And um, this is probably my best one. I bought this one. I think it was 110 euros. Yeah, it was also in December, but in 2019, I bought it at H&M, 110 euros. So, as you can see, my jackets are from Zara and H&M. But, yeah, 
now it comes something that is not from Zara and something that is not from H&M. So let's uh, try this one and then we can check at the next number is uh, this uh, coat here um, I really love the color and this one I bought it at United Colors of uh, Benetton United Colors of Benetton I bought it in Munich it was I also think 2019 and I love the color of this jacket actually it's my husband who chose it for me and I think he also bought it for me because yeah, I don't have money to afford uh, such expensive stuff. You can actually tell that this jacket is very expensive with the um, details, the buttons, you know, and the color and the quality, the inside is totally different. You can actually see on your own and it's very long. So you know the longer the coat, also the costly it becomes. It becomes more expensive and it is like... Um, the belt you can tie and um, you know take the waist out you know you can snatch the waist snatch in the waist it has really a lot of details and this one was I think about 230 euros from United Colors of uh, Benetton it's the best jacket I ever had but it's not a winter jacket it's more of a fall uh, yeah fall jacket or early uh, spring yeah spring and fall jacket in winter you would really be cold it's not so warm for winter but it's um very comfortable and very nice if you follow me on instagram you must have seen pictures while i'm wearing probably all these jackets but yeah this is the jacket i really love it i really love the color and the design and you know the classiness in it it's it's really beautiful yeah this is my to-go jacket in fall or in spring i wear it all the time i really love it so let's just try it out down, heard the countdown through the haze in the face of defeat yeah I was ruled out with no bail out on my own, all alone, left to bleed out. But I rose up from the ground, just like I was spell bound. All the odds were against me. So I picked up the page, and now I'm in the race. Give me so, last but not least is this number here the red fox fair coat this is from an italian shop a local italian shop uh, in my city it's called ivivi or ivivi i don't know how they pronounce it but it's this jacket is heavy guys it's really heavy and it, it was expensive i think i bought it for i think it was almost 300 euros and it's it's very very warm and the quality, like I said in the beginning, with the pink one from H&M, you can actually tell the quality. I'm sure you guessed it right, that this one is the most expensive one. And you can, I don't know, it's, it's different. The color is so good and the, the collar, the collar when you're wearing it, it, it feels different than the other collar. The other one is also very light from H&M and this one is very very heavy and very 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 warm. When you wear it you, you, you don't need a pullover or anything, you just need a string top or a bodysuit and then you are good to go. You don't need to lay in when, uh, to, to, to lay, to lay up, lay in English. You don't need to wear a, a, a t-shirt and a pullover and then a jacket, no. You just need a t-shirt or a bodysuit or a string top. And then you are good to go with this one. It's very, very warm and very heavy. But I was so sad when I was thinking it was going, it was getting so small on me. But it's fitting now again because 
your girl is losing a little bit, a little bit. Small steps, yeah? Yeah, so this is my favorite jacket. I bought it uh, for... I think I bought it for our anniversary dinner. I wanted to wear it in our, on our anniversary dinner in 20... I think it was also 2019, yeah, it was also bought it in 2019 uh, before we went to Ireland because we had, uh, so we celebrated before we left, so I wanted to wait on that dinner and yeah, it's it's the best thing that ever happened to my wardrobe, I really love it, it's very nice and it's so cozy, it feels so good and let's just uh, try it out and we'll let me know what you I hope you enjoyed watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I'm posting something and please leave a comment in the comment section let me know which one was your favorite which one would you buy or which one did you like in terms of quality and also in terms of prices I'll see you guys on my next video and please let me know where you buy your coats just hook me up in case I can try your shop or your taste as well I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.